There aren't any road signs posted along the dirt roads that wind through Babcock Ranch, but Arnie Sarlo knows every inch of its 143 square miles. As ranch manager, Sarlo oversees the cattle and timber operations on the sprawling property which straddles the Charlotte Lee County border, and he's responsible for making sure the ranch's hog and deer populations are kept in check with the help of the many hunters who also come to Babcock to harvest quail and wild turkey and enjoy a slice of old Florida. The ranch hosts an array of other businesses, too, including eco-tours, a rock mining operation, and sod farms. But these days, Sarlo's job has been growing even more complicated. Sid Kitson, a West Palm Beach developer and former Green Bay Packer, who is Sarlo's boss, purchased the 91,000-acre ranch two years ago and is preparing to build a new 17,000-acre planned community in the southwest corner of the ranch. Kitson, who paid more than $455 million for the property, sold the rest of the land, 74,000 acres in all, to the state of Florida for $350 million to ensure its permanent preservation. In a unique arrangement, most of the existing business operations will continue there. Kitson's company will manage them for the next 10 years. After that, a nonprofit agency will take over the management of the ranch. While the first houses won't sprout up until at least 2010, Kitson ultimately envisions 19,500 homes and 6 million square feet of commercial and office space in the new town he is calling Babcock Ranch. It's impossible to know what the deer, alligators, wild pigs, and cattle that inhabit Babcock Ranch will think of their new neighbors, but to lessen the impact of the 45,000 new residents who will eventually call Babcock Ranch home, Kitson plans to utilize green building techniques. Native plants will make up 90% of the landscape, and the community will rely in large part on renewable energies. The community will be walkable or rideable. Kitson envisions communal bicycles that residents can ride from one side of the community to another and drop off for the next person to use. He hopes to attract a major company to the development so fewer residents will have to commute to work. To protect the wildlife, Kitson has agreed to build at least four underpasses for wildlife within the development and to set slower speed limits along roads within the community at night. Meanwhile, Sarlo also points out that those who choose to call Babcock Ranch home will also have to adapt to some of the realities of ranch life. Every year, Babcock does controlled burning of its pine and scrubby flatwoods to manage the land and will continue to do so. The burns will be written into homeowners' contracts, and people who can't tolerate occasional smoke probably will have to buy elsewhere. This is Amy Keller reporting for Florida Trend.